Oh, well, plus Manex, welcome back to another unboxing. So today we have our second ever Super Nintendo World plush. In this box is the Super Nintendo World Yoshi plush. The last one we got was the large Bowser that I fell in love with the second I took it out of the box, and that was in early 2022. So it's been more than two years since we've gotten a Super Nintendo World plush, mostly because this, we got the Bowser before the Hollywood location opened, so now that the Hollywood location is open, a lot of the plushes are becoming more and more affordable here in the United States. So I was able to get this Yoshi for only $15 plus shipping, which is an excellent deal for a theme park plush because the Bowser was extremely high quality, so I'm ex ex expecting nothing different from this Yoshi. Very excited for this guy, and um, very glad that I was able to get him for such an amazing deal on eBay. So I think this is the medium one if I'm not mistaken, but it could be the small one. I'm not sure. It didn't give the size on the lifting. So let's get this guy open. There is the Super Nintendo World Yoshi plush. So this is the medium one. Wow, this guy is. Look at how cute this guy looks. Poor thing, he's all squished in here, so let's get him out. But there he is with the tags, $30. I got this for half of that on eBay. So let's get this fella out of the bag. Oh, oh yes. This guy looks amazing. So this is the medium one. I was I was kind of expecting it to be the small one considering the price, but this is the medium Super Nintendo World Yoshi plush from Super Nintendo World in Hollywood, I believe. So yes, this is the Hollywood one because I do not remember the tag on the Bowser being this thick and it having a tag like this. I'm pretty sure it was white on both sides if I don't, if I'm correct with the Japanese one. So this guy came from Hollywood $15 so this guy feels very different from how the Bowser feels as you can see hopefully with the camera here this guy is very shiny he's very silky soft it is a very different material from the Bowser that I have which feels like a more standard it feels like a Sine material basically with this Yoshi though it feels very very soft and nothing like Sine is this soft so um let's go right to the face silky soft everywhere on this plush so the eyes and the outer rim of the eyes have the exact same beautiful stitching that Sine does. They did an excellent job there. No doubt about that. They have always been known for having the great quality stitching. The nose is embroidered as always. Looks perfect. It's very um, impressive how they were able to achieve such high quality stitching just like Sine does. So taking a look at the back here, the spikes on the head are stuffed very, very well. And these do feel like the same Sine material. As you can see, they're very fluffy looking in the camera right there. And they're stitched on very, very well. The saddle right here, this also feels like the same saddle from the All-Star plush. So these two things right here feel the same. The re entire rest of the plush is what feels completely different. It is velvety soft everywhere on this plush. So, so the saddle is stuffed right there, it looks great. And the arms right here, the arms are proportioned very, very well. As you can see right here, we have the three threads for the fingers. And his arms are very malleable, so you can move them up, you can move them down, and they are excellent. So the tail has his traditional shape right here, stuffed very nicely. Of course, with a little less stuffing at the tip, uh, uh, most of them are, rather. And coming down here, just a very velvety soft material everywhere on this plush, even on the shoes right here. So you can see this rim is stuffed very, very well. Same thing with the shoes. The shoes feel the part of the plush that are stuffed the most. It has the most condensation of stuffing. So that looks great right there. Feels great. And um, overall, I'm very impressed with this plush. Now let's take a look at the tush tag. This one is different from what I had on the Bowser one. 
because this is a lot thicker and it feels a lot rougher, like a higher quality. So let's see if you can see that right there. Kind of feels like a denim-ish material. That's kind of weird, but all new materials, polyester fab fabric, plastic pellets. Wow, this thing has beads in it. I did not know that. So this thing has beads right here in the butt. Listen to this. So this feels literally exactly like a Sine plush. I did not know that this thing has beads in it. And it kind of makes me curious if all the other Hollywood ones do, like the Bowser and the Bowser Jr. So I'm fascinated by that. I did not know this thing had beads because the Bowser does not have beads. The one that I got from Japan. So that is awesome that they were able to add that. And this it was made in Vietnam surface washable. So you can only clean this guy on the surface with a washcloth or a wipe or a rag. You cannot put him in the washer. You cannot hand wash him. So be careful. Do not attempt to do any of that. You can just wipe him clean with a cloth if you have to. So there's that. Official Nintendo licensed product has the embroidered Universal at the bottom. And now let's take a look at this tag. Super Nintendo World Universal Studios has the Chef Toad right there. Has Princess Peach, Yoshi, of course the Toad House, Mario, Luigi. And taking a look at the back over here. Just the legal mumbo jumbo right there so overall i am very impressed with this plush it has the same exact high quality that the bowser does this plush feels like it would be worth 50 dollars if i'm being honest with how high the quality is but i'm very lucky and very thankful that i was able to get it for only 15 and once again this is the medium version this is not the small one the small one i believe would be right up to here but this one i believe is about 12 inches maybe 11 or 10 but this is the medium one love this plush very lucky to own it and um very happy to open it for all of you so let us know your thoughts on this plush in the comments down below and do i recommend it to all of you hell yeah i'd recommend it because i love this plush it looks great feels great excellent quality so let's get on to the comparisons of this guy and review him with all the other yoshis so here he is once again overview of the medium super nintendo world yoshi plush and the first one we're going to compare him to is a yoshi that we actually just got earlier in the week so this is a fake all-star yoshi that we were scammed with uh, on aliexpress so we ordered one that was supposed to look like the yarn yoshi amiibo and um, we got this which me personally i was very happy that mr reynolds got one that looked like this because it just looks very cool it looks very funny very funny thing so i just want to compare these two because we got them in the same week and just to show the difference in color because a lot of things one thing that many people notice is just the different coloration of this guy. His, he is a dark neon green, I should say. This guy is definitely a lot lighter. Regular Yoshi in general is lighter, and this one is a very dark neon green. So it's not something that you see too often on Yoshi plushes. Just wanted to compare the two right there. But um, they do share a couple of similar qualities, such as the embroidery around the eyes. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it because this thing feels very, very stiff. It is not as soft and um, squishable as this one is. So this one is very firm, stiff, and um, that's really all there is to that one. And the next one we're gonna compare them to is the regular All-Star Sine Medium Yoshi. So they are about the same height. So I'm gonna try to get it all lined up right there to see who's taller. The Nintendo World is a little bit taller by a couple of centimeters as you can see right there. But that is also because his legs are dangling down, as you can see right there. And this ones are more stuffed, so it goes diagonally, or horizontally rather, this thing goes diagonally. He has his legs kicked out, and this one has him going down at a diagonal. So that is why this one's taller, but if they were to be sitting on the floor, then I'm pretty sure they would be the same height, which is very impressive. I'm very glad that these two are very similar in height. But one thing that I can notice right away is just the spacing and the size of the saddles, you can see right there. The saddle in the Nintendo World 1 is smaller, and it is a lot more fluffy as you can see right there. And the size of each spike on the All-Star 1 is bigger, and the spacing is a lot different. This one has a lot more defined waves to it, and this one does not. It has kind of an irregular shape to it. So um, I think this one looks a lot neater. And the spacing in between the saddle and the horns are different as well. This one has a lot less space, this one has more space. So there's just another comparison there. And um, the shade of green is practically the same. I just think it looks a little different because of the difference in materials, of course. This one is very velvety soft, as you can see right at the camera right there, how fuzzy this guy looks. This one is not as soft, but that is not a knock on it. It's just the difference in materials. That's all it is at the end of the day. 
And one thing that I can definitely say is they both have beads in the same place. Once again, very surprised to find out that this guy has beads because the Bowser does not. And I did not think beforehand that any of them did have beads because nobody told me. And um, I just didn't think they did because of the Bowser. So that's really all that there is with the medium one. Just one more overview right there. Oh yeah, and the arms are thicker on the Nintendo World one as well. As you can see right there. And a comparison of the shoes. The shoes obviously have a different shape on the Austro one. They are shaped, they are skinnier, of course. So turning this guy over. Smaller saddle on Nintendo World 1. So there's the last Yoshi we're gonna compare it to. And the last one of this video is going to be comparing it to our only other Super Nintendo World plush. And that is of course, this medium Bowser, one of our favorites in the entire collection. So one thing right away is that the materials that they used on the bracelets of this Bowser is definitely with the same material that they used all the way around on this Yoshi. Because you can see, and when I zoom up on the camera right here, you can definitely see how fuzzy they both look and it feels like the exact same material. Because this Bowser does not feel as velvety soft. It is definitely soft, it is softer than the All-Star one, but it is not as velvety as this new Yoshi that I just got. So that is a big difference there. And once again, no beads and a big difference in the tags like I mentioned earlier. Now that I have him in front of me, this guy's tag is way longer. The Hollywood tag is longer and includes a lot more details on it. This one just has a short tag on it. Very, very similar to the Sine short tags from Japan. So I guess Japan just likes short tags and everything. Let's turn this around 2020. So this guy was manufactured in 2020. I don't think that this one has a year on it. Yeah, it doesn't say. Yeah, there's no date on this plush. But, um, yeah, another difference there. And um, they're about the same height. I just took a picture for the Instagram page with these two. They are identical in height. Of course, the Bowser is going to be a little bit taller with the hair and everything. But they are practically side by side the same height, which I'm very glad to, to have the medium one. I was, like I said, it was very cheap. I kind of thought that this would be the small one. But no, it is the medium one. The same size as this Bowser, the same height. And um, excellent build quality with both of these. I love both of these plushes. The Super Nintendo World line is probably my my second favorite plush maker behind Sine, really, because um, just sublime quality, um, fantastic quality, excellent quality with every single Mario plush we have owned from the line. And um, that about wraps up this unboxing. So we hope you enjoyed it. I know I kind of went off track a little bit there with the Bowser and everything, but we hope you enjoyed it. Tried to be as in depth as possible. And um, we'll be back later on in the week with even more Mario Plus unboxings. We still have more on the way. And um, yes, this is a medium Yoshi from Super Nintendo World. Let us know if you own any Super Nintendo World plushes yourself and your general thoughts and feelings on this medium Yoshi plush. Very excited to have him in the collection. And we're very happy to open him for all of you on camera. So we hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel because this is what we do. We'd like to deliver you Mario Plus content just like this all the time. So hope you enjoyed. Leave our thoughts down below. We appreciate all of you and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much and goodbye.